as Nigeria celebrates a diamond jubilee. The sports industry has been on a topsy-turvy ride, and the drawing board is still as active as ever. Sports has been a veritable national activity, unifying Nigerians of diverse culture since our amalgamation in 1914. Since Emmanuel Arinze Ifeajuna won a gold medal in high jump during the Commonwealth Games in 1954, to Hogan Kid who became the world featherweight boxing champion in 1957, to Dick Tiger, who won the middleweight crown and the world light heavyweight crown, other athletes have gone on to do the nation proud on the African and global sports scene. At the height of our agitations for independence in the years leading up to 1960, several socio-political pressures that ensued in the Nigerian political community stealthily stunted the growth and the advancement of sporting activities in the country. After independence, Nigeria's Green Eagles, as it was then popularly called, qualified for the Olympic Games held in Mexico in 1968, and this greatly upped Nigeria's ratings in the world of football. The Golden Eaglets won the Kodak Under-17 World Cup, now FIFA Under-17 World Cup, in China in 1985. These outstanding exploits connected with Shoma Ajunwa's golden heroics in the long jump event and the Under-23 Dream Team's football victory in Atlanta 96, which served as a reminder to the rest of the world the great potentials of the country in sports. No matter how quality and how brilliant individually you have in your team, the collective effort will always be ahead of the individual brilliance. But of course, we were able to you know, tell ourselves that uh, let's work as a team, let's help one another, let's defend as a team. Uh, that confidence, you know, uh, you know, and that statement gave us the belief, gave us the confidence that we are here as a team. Uh, if we lose, we lose as a team. If we win, we win as a team. And that really inspired us, you know, going all the way. When we played Brazil, I remember our first game against them. Uh, we knew we lost that game, but it was our proper mistakes our, that cost us the goal. And then when we have the privilege to play them again in the semi-final, uh, we went into that game, you know, having the confidence that uh, if we do what is needful, you know, there will, the possibility of we playing in the final is there. Many sporting greats have served the nation meritoriously by offering their talents and zeal to the service of the country. It is sad that the expected government efforts on immortalizing these men and women are hardly considered. It's a very, very painful that uh, our great sportsmen cut across all strata of um, sporting activities have been neglected by by this by Nigerian government and it is not um, a good development and it's uh, disheartening especially for the upcoming stars and that is more reason why you find um, most um, Nigerian uh, citizen uh, flying and uh, vying for uh, wearing uh, other countries' color in international events. And um, I'm, I'm personally very, very disappointed in her government because this is uh, an area where government can annex and um, improve on our poor uh, idea, internally generated revenue, and uh, show up our um, revenue um, uh, uh, cut across. Rashidi Yekini, who happened to be my client, is still, and we are still crying for Kora State government to, to immortalize um, late Rashidi Yekini. I'm not even talking of Nigeria, even Kora State that um, where Rashidi Yekini came from have failed to even immortalize uh, late Rashidi Yekini, not to talk of Nigerian government. So it's disheartening and it's, it's a very sad uh, development. The consistent fall in the standard and sports facilities coupled with the erosion of the sporting enthusiasm that once greeted our sporting arena has made Nigeria lose its mark on the world stage. In recent times, the country has witnessed the mixed fortunes in sports and various accompanying challenges. Aside the victory of the Super Eagles at the African Nations Cup in 2013, the Super Falcons' achievements and some other stand-alone victories of our junior football teams and other sporting contingents, much has not really been achieved and a lot is left to be desired in terms of sports development, facility upgrade, inventive offering to athletes and proper talent development and management in the sporting arena.
we are now lagging behind and letting other countries like South Africa have the cause take the lead. Um, is it the lost cause? No, I don't think it's a lost cause. But I believe um, with more government intervention in the sense of funding the athletes, not really paying so much attention to the federation, but funding the athletes directly, I think um, we can get our sports back to where it should be. According to the pundits, the future of sports in Nigeria is bright and eventful if the stakeholders take the right step and make the necessary efforts. Policymakers are advised to reenact sports education as a mandatory subject and extracurricular activity in primary and secondary schools, upgrade and revamp facilities for various sports around the country, and create a national developmental framework for sports. Udoka Njoko, reporting for PLOS TV Africa.